Have you ever tried to saddle a torpedo that just got shot out of a nuclear submarine? That's King Salmon on a fly rod. So I'm excited to go on this trip, first and foremost, uh, because I've tried to create a community with um, five to six of my friends to kind of do life with who all love to fly fish. When Will actually started putting together the trip a year ago, I was the first one to jump in and say, here's my money, let's do this, you know, I'm, I'm in. This is something that um, since three years ago, the first time I went to Pier Marquette, I've been dreaming to go back. Uh, I was 0 for 6 last time uh, trying to land a king, and it's just a bucket list fish for me. Last year, uh, I was 0 for 8 on landing the fish, which was super depressing, and I'm kind of hoping this trip is uh, a little bit of redemption for me, uh, and I'm also just really looking forward to hanging out with the guys. So excited for this. I, I'm super pumped. I don't think I've ever been more pumped for a trip. So we're going about an hour and a half north of my hometown of Grand Rapids, Michigan, um, to Baldwin, Michigan, um, to a river uh, named the Pierre Marquette River. It's a really tight, small, a uh, small river um, that's just really, really gorgeous. A lot of structure, uh, a lot of windy um, twists and turns throughout. It's just a great place to be. The river that we're going is not that wide. It's about 30, probably 30 feet across, um, free flowing, undammed. It's a blue ribbon trout stream. Um, it's completely beautiful. With the salmon run and the steelhead run that immediately follows it, um, obviously you want big rods. Um, we're gonna be using the 10-way Moonshine Vesper. Which are really beefy, can handle that sort of uh, uh, power that's coming at us, but um, still has the action to really be able to play that fish. Trying to uh, give a little bit more backbone to just an unbelievably strong fish. Um, and uh, just try to do whatever we can to have a little bit of control over them, which seems like an impossible task. We're gonna be fishing with stoneflies, dark type, uh, minnow type patterns. Their instinct to bite is gonna be based on more being pissed off to get that thing out of the way than it will be to actually eat something. Um, big streamers, uh, big bright colors, anything that we can just get in their face and, and piss them off enough that they actually take a swipe at it. I mean, the king's the king. able to land a fish like that and um, you know that could be a 30 pound fish that is 40 inches long that could snap a, a 10 to 11 weight um, rod you know in, in half is just incredible to be able to get that on fly tackle. Well what's what's so cool is as a general rule of thumb the bigger the water the bigger the fish but in this circumstance we are in a small stream that should only be holding small fish but at this one time of the year we have a chance to catch a real monster in this tiny body of water. They are a massive fish. Once you hook a fish, it might be 50 yards up river, like that. What's so cool is what happens to these fish as they go through their life cycle and how the, the physical changes, the big kipe jaw, the big gnarly teeth come at you, the colors, the way their skin changes, like, you are, when you, when you put your hands on one of these fish, you are holding a dinosaur. There's almost nothing you can do to stop it. You're just kind of holding on, uh, turning your rod left and right, um, trying to keep it from going around the logs. When you hook into a king salmon, he's in control. You're just trying to hang on. You're just trying to hold on long enough that maybe he gets tired enough to let you net him. 
that thing is going to be a rocket. And it's going to break, I mean, it's going to break lines, it's going to break poles. 37 to 42 to 43 inches. It will average probably somewhere around 20 pounds all, all the way up to 35 pounds. Um, they're obviously in the river. They are going to be extremely aggressive. So uh, the fight of a king salmon, honestly, it feels like a freight train. Like once you hook into it, uh, you, you kind of just feel like you're holding on for dear life. King's the king. 